this lesson is on solving one-step equations using multiplicative inverse. So before we start on the solving equations, let me give you a review of what multiplicative inverse is. So multiplicative inverse says if you take a fraction, any fraction, and multiply it times its reciprocal, which is the fraction flipped over, it will always be equal to 1. So remember when you multiply fractions, you multiply straight across. So 3 times 2 is 6, and 3 times 2 is 6, and that's equal to 1. So this works for any fraction. So 1 half times its reciprocal, 2 over 1, equals 2 over 2, which equals 1. Just make sure that if you have negatives involved, so if you had uh, negative 2 thirds, the reciprocal of negative 2 thirds is negative 3 halves. So don't change the signs. And remember, a negative times a negative is a positive. So you would get 6 over 6, which equals 1. So that's the multiplicative inverse. So let's see how we can use that with solving equations. All right, so I have my screen split up into a work and a check because with any equations, you can always check your work by plugging in the answer you get and seeing if it checks out. So to solve an equation, I'm trying to get the variable by itself. So I'm trying to get rid of the one third here. So I'm going to use multiplicative inverse to do that. So I'm going to multiply both sides of this equation by 3 over 1 which is the reciprocal of one third. So I put the 12 over one. Over here, you would get three over three, which is one. So these just cancel out because one X is the same thing as just X. And on the other side, I get 36 over one, which equals 36. So X is equal to 36. And again, you can check this, plug in 36 for X. So let's see what one third times 36 is, remember if you're multiplying a fraction times a whole number, just put the whole number over one. Then if I multiply straight across, I get 36 over three, which is equal to 12, which is what I wanted it to be equal to. So I know this is the correct answer over here, that X equals 36. Okay, so when you have a fraction multiply times the variable, that's when you can use this trick of multiplicative inverse. So a fraction times the variable. So let's look, I have another example of this. So here we have a fraction times the variable. So negative two thirds times some number equals 12. And we're trying to figure out what that number is. So to get the X by itself, we can multiply both sides by the negative, I mean by the reciprocal of negative two thirds, which would be, negative three halves. So again, the reciprocal, you just flip it over. If it's negative, you keep the negative. Don't change the sign. So when you multiply that, you're gonna get six over six, which is just one. So that canceled this out essentially, because one X is the same thing as X. Whatever I do to one side of the equation, I have to do the same thing to the other side. So I'm gonna multiply this side by negative three halves. I just put the 12 over one multiply straight across. Remember, you can cross simplify when you're multiplying fractions. So I could simplify this to one and six. Otherwise, I have to simplify at the end. But let's just go ahead and multiply straight across. This is a positive times a negative, so I'm gonna get a negative answer. 12 times three is 36, and one times two is two. And then 36 divided by two, is 18. So I get x equals negative 18. So let's check that and see if it works out. So I'm going to multiply negative 2 thirds times negative 18. This time I'm going to go ahead and cross simplify here, show you what I was talking about here. I said you could simplify the 12 and the 2. So it just makes your life easier if you sim simplify here instead of waiting until the end. So the 3 and the 18 have a common factor of 3. So if I divide them both by 3, I would get 1 and 6. And so now I'm multiplying 2 times 6 is 12. And 1 times 1 is 1. And 12 over 1 is just 12, which is what I wanted. So I know that I got the correct answer of x equals negative 18. 
So again, just in summary, when you have a fraction times the variable, you can get rid of that fraction by multiplying by its reciprocal. And that's called the multiplicative inverse. All right. So one other thing, this isn't really related here, but I wanted to throw this in here. Hi, students. If you have a negative x, we don't want to know what negative x is equal to. We want to know what x is equal to. So how do we get rid of that negative sign? Well, what you're really looking at here is negative 1 times x. So use opposite operations. So negative 1 times x, that means you want to divide both sides by negative 1. So negative 1 divided by negative 1 is positive 1, cancels it out. And then 5 divided by negative 1 is negative 5. So you might say, well, couldn't I just move the negative sign over here? And the answer basically is yes. All right, so x equals negative 5. So let's check that. So this, this kind of confuses some students. So I have this negative sign here. And then it says x is negative 5. So I'm going to plug in negative 5. So what the heck is negative negative 5? Right, there was already a negative sign. I plug in negative 5 for x. So I end up with negative negative 5. Well, remember, I say this over and over again. Whenever you have these two symbols next to each other, you can replace them with this symbol. So negative negative is the same thing as plus. So negative negative 5 is the same thing as 5, which is what I wanted. So I got the correct answer of x equals negative 5. All right, so I hope you found this useful. If so, please give it a like and a subscribe. And until next time.